This video is part of the course that is GraphQL with Spring Boot. Link for this course is given in the description. Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to have getters and setters for our fields for the particular class using project Lombok. So let's say for example, we want to have getters and setters for this particular field only using Lombok. So here we have its manual getters and setters. So let me remove this. So this is basically boilerplate code. So let's remove this and over this field use the getter annotation. So see this is from project Lombok. So have this annotation. So this will create get method for this particular field. Now if you want to have setter for it and then setter annotation and that is from project Lombok. So what will happen? This will create getter for this field and this at setter annotation will create set method for this particular field. Now most of the times we have getters and setters for all the fields inside our class and specifically when we have POJO or say response model class. Very few times we are in the need that we just want to have get method for a particular field and we don't want to have set method for that field. But that is very rare case. So if we are going to have these annotations on each and every field, right? And say for example, we want to have getters and setters for all the fields inside the class. Then we don't need to have this annotation on each and every field. So what we can do, just have this annotation on the top of the class. That's it. And then we can remove this getters and setters that we created. So let's remove. Yeah. And if you want to verify, then here we have object of student response. See, we have setters and we have getters as well. So this is how we can have getters and setters for each and every field by using the at getter and at setter annotation provided by Lombok and giving it on the top of the class. Now, say we want to have some other methods for our POJO or say model class, say two string method. And another one with annotation is equals and has code. So this also, you know, Lombok provides annotation. See, this is from Lombok. Now, why need to go for each and every different annotation for different methods, right? Say you want to have all these methods. So rather than using each and every annotation for specifically, you can go with add data that is provided by Lombok. So this add data is equivalent to all these four annotations. You can remove this and have add data. So this is useful when you want to have getters, setters, two string method, equals and has code as well. And if you don't want two string and equals and has code, then you can go by setter and getter. That's it. So this is how you can have getters and setters for your model or POJO class using Lombok. And this is how you can avoid boilerplate code inside your class. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. Do you want to learn GraphQL? If yes, then I'm having complete course on it that is GraphQL with Spring Boot. This course covers what is GraphQL, what is GraphQL query, mutation, schema and the difference between GraphQL API and REST API. This course also covers the real-time implementation of GraphQL with Spring Boot. This course also includes how to use Project Lombok with Spring Boot application. So what are you waiting for? The course link is given in the description. Just click on that link and start your journey of GraphQL with Spring Boot. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.